now on this Saturday night, please welcome your host for the National Lottery in it to win it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Dale Winton! Thank you, thank you. Good evening and welcome to the National Lottery In It To Win It. Now, will this be the night that your life changes forever? I hope so. Could happen because we've got the three big lottery draws. All you'll be needing is that one lucky ticket. Oh, and don't forget, there's also up to £100,000 to play for here in the studio right now. And with one dream to take home all that cash, please welcome our five players. Sean. <laughs> Helen. Michael. Larry and Tony. Here's the thing, if they make it out of the waiting area to join me here in Winner's Row, I could well be handing them a cheque for a lot of money. So, who will be the first person to sit in Winner's Row? Each with your own colour. Here's where we find out who's going to play first. to Winners Row tonight is Elary. She's a wind farm developer from Cardiff. You are beautiful. Thank you. And you decorate my first chair sensationally. Oh, thank you very much, Dale. I bet you feel great being the first one out of the waiting I'm area, don't you? I'm shocked, actually, but yes, I'm really well, wearing to go. Good to see you. Now tell me, who did you bring with you for support? I brought Stuart and Claire with me. Stuart's my partner and Claire's my sister-in-law. Great. Okay, so you're here anyway to win how much? As much as possible, but ideally about £10,000, Dale. Okay, ten grand. That's, to be fair, a modest amount of what you can win on this show. People have won 70, 80, 90,000 on this show. Well, any extra is a bonus as okay. far as I see it. Let's put chance to dream now, sweetheart. Right. What are you looking to spend the money on? Ten grand to start with. First of all, I think I'd like to go on a cookery course to somewhere exotic, like, I don't know, somewhere nice like Tuscany or somewhere hot where you can drink lots of red wine, eat lots of pasta and just relax in the sunshine and learn a bit of cooking as well. Are you uh, not a good cook? I'm okay, but Whenever there's a mistake, I have to say it's the oven's fault. All oh, right. <laughs> so if you won 20 grand, what would you do? Uh, I'd buy a new kitchen so I could do all my cooking in a very nice big kitchen. Oh, that's, really? That's, that would be nice and get all my friends around to enjoy my Italian cuisine. Stuart's listening to this and thinking, kitchen, oh, I'll sit in the kitchen and the cookery class and she's going to go on, what's in it for me? Well, Dale, if I win enough money, I'd buy him a nice, super deluxe convertible car so that he can transport myself and our son around the place in luxury. Fantastic. Well, you're here, you're in it to win it. Yeah. Every question I ask you is worth £5,000 in the prize fund. Build that up as much as you can, but that red area there is a no-go area. Give me a wrong answer and you're going straight to red. Okay. Okay? Right. Two ways out of there, you know the deal. Correct answer, you're back in Winner's Row, give me the wrong answer, and you're going right back where you started. Okay. I wish you luck. Are you ready Thank for your you. first question? I think so, yeah. Let's put five grand in that prize fund right now. Here's your first question. The phrase, to throw in the towel, comes from which sport? Is it cricket, archery, or boxing? Now, sport's not my hot topic, I have to say. But I think that there's a clue in the question. I know that... In cricket, they don't have towels, and I don't think they have towels in archery. But in boxing, they go into the corner and they're towels down. So I think that it's boxing. Would you like me to take boxing as your answer? I think so, yeah. Okay. I'll accept boxing. If it's right, it's a great start to the show. £5,000, just like that, in the prize fund. Is it boxing? Let's make it turn. Here's your next question. In Roman numerals, what number is represented by the letter C? Is it 10, 100, or 1,000? Right. I know 10 is X. And I think that 1,000 is M because 2,006 is MM. So I'm going to go for 100. Is that what you'd like me to take as your answer? I think so. Alary says 100. I'll accept that if you're right. Straight away another 5 grand, making it 10 grand. Is the answer 100? Yeah! Excellent. Excellent. I like that. 
Excellent. Excellent. We're quite pleased with ourselves at the moment, aren't so, we? Yeah. Yes, we are. No way to go yet, though. Okay, well, here's where you can make it 15 grand. Be the hat trick. Here's your third question. Which soul singer was nicknamed the Walrus of Love? Was it Barry White, Luther Vandross, or Otis Redding? Right. Are you a fan of any of those? I'm not really sure which one it is. I don't think it's Otis Redding. For some reason, Barry White is ringing a bell because he was quite large, wasn't he? Well, he was a big guy. Um, I'm going to go for Barry White. I don't think it's Luther Vandross. Are you saying you would like me to take Barry White as your answer? Yes, Dale. Alary says Barry White. If that is right, there's 15 grand in the prize fund, which is fabulous. Three correct answers. If you're wrong, let's not even go there. Is it Barry White? Yeah. What was his nickname? The Walrus of Love. I thought that was Yeah, that was his uh, nickname. This is getting a bit good. For 20 grand, another five grand in the prize fund. Here's your fourth question. The celebrated statue of Eros is a feature of which famous London location? Is it Tower of London, Trafalgar Square, or Piccadilly Circus? Eros, god of love, goddess of love, one or the other. Um, I don't think it's the Tower of London. Trafalgar Square, Nelson. I think it's in Piccadilly Circus, Dale. So I might to take Piccadilly Circus as your answer? Yes, please, Dale. Okay. I accept Piccadilly Circus. Is it right? They're looking a little worried over there, and well they might. But think of it this way. Aleri is building up the prize fund for you to maybe come and nick a bit later on. Does that work for you? Yeah. yeah. Good. <laughs> for 25 grand, another 5 grand in the prize fund. Here's your next question. Which character from children's literature described himself as a bear of very little brain? Was it Rupert Bear, Winnie the Pooh, or Paddington Bear? Now then, I don't think it's Rupert Bear. Paddington Bear came from Carew, and my son Morgan loves Winnie the Pooh, and I love Winnie the Pooh, and I'm fairly sure that Winnie the Pooh was the bear of very little brain. Is that your answer? Yes, Dale. Alary says Winnie the Pooh. If she's right, there's £25,000 in the prize fund. But are you? That one. You were a little hesitant and then you went for it, which is good. Um, this, is, this is getting very good. 25 grand in the prize fund. Here's your next question. Which singer played the role of Bertie in the 2005 movie Mrs. Henderson Presents? Was it Will Young, Lee Ryan or Robbie Williams? Right, I haven't seen the film. But I do remember seeing an interview with Will Young talking about this film. Um, I don't think it's Robbie. I think I, I quite like Robbie Williams, and I, I think I would have known if he'd have been in it. So I'm going to go for Will Young. Is that your answer? Yes, Dale. Okay, I accept Will Young as your answer. If you're right, that'll be six correct answers, one after the other, and £30,000 in the prize fund. Could be setting a record here, if it's right. Did Will play that role? A bit shell shocked, actually, to be honest. Is it all going a bit too quick for you? Um, it's quite lonely up here, I have to say, but it's quite nice. Um, Sorry, the more guys. people that are over here, the less money you go home with. Uh, yes, I know that. So you're actually playing the game just right. <laughs> I wouldn't look over there. They're probably getting a bit anxious right now. Get this one right, it'll be a seventh correct answer. We'll have £35,000 in the prize fund, single-handedly. Here's that question. The historic port of Sandwich is located in which English county? Is it Suffolk, Kent, or Cornwall? Sandwich. Don't think it's in Cornwall. Uh, it could be Suffolk, it could be Kent, I really don't know. Um, it's going to have to be a complete guess. For some reason, I think Kent sounds about right. Don't know. Kent, let's go for Kent. You'd like me to take Kent as your answer? Yes, please, Dale. Alary says Kent. If you're right, you'd have put 35 grand in the prize fund. Fabulous. 
Uh, did you get the right answer? Yes, you did. What was a surprise. Oh, my goodness. Sean, how are you doing over there? I'm a bit in two minds at the moment. I'm really pleased we're doing well, but I want to get up there. Just, just tell me. She needs a break. Who did you bring with you for support? <laughs> I brought my mum and my uh, friend Ben. Great, right, good to see you both. How are you doing, Alan? Uh, rather be over there than here. You're quite competitive, aren't you? Am I? <laughs> yeah, I think you are. I heard you saying in the corridor earlier, I thought, yes, I'm going to do uh, well on this. I'm out to win, I'm not in to lose, you know? No, quite right too. Michael, how are you doing over Thank there? Thanks, Dale. Having a nice evening? I'm having a great day. Do you want to stay there? No, please. I'd like to go over there besides the holiday. And Tony, you're on your own on the end. I know, yes, something to said. Be patient, like I say. Alaria is doing all the work at the moment. Um, are you ready? No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> Don't worry. Here's your question. By what name is nitrous oxide also known? Is it dry ice, laughing gas, or truth serum? Nitrous oxide. I don't think it's dry ice. I don't know what dry ice is, but it's not that. Um, for some reason, laughing gas came to me. Um, so I'm just going to go with the first answer that sort of hit me. So I'm, I, I'm not sure, but I'm going to go for laughing gas. Would you like me to accept laughing gas as your answer? Yes, please. Then I shall. Larry says laughing gas. If you're right, you have 40 grand in the prize fund. And it could be all yours. Look at this. An empty winner's robe, are you? I'm looking for laughing gas. I don't believe it. I sort of felt that you dodged a bullet there. I think so. Because I looked at your face when the question came up and you thought, uh-oh, uh -oh. uh-oh. But you dodged it. But you worked it out. You said yeah. something told you. Something told me. OK, we're now looking at another five grand, which would make it £45,000. You came <laughs> here with a dream. You, you wanted ten grand? Yeah. We've already got the car, the holiday and the kitchen now, haven't we? Yeah, let's go for the house, shall we? Oh, all right, fair <laughs> enough. Like a girl with ambition. Here's your question. What does the D stand for in the name of the building material MDF? Is it density? Durable or drilled? MDF stands for something density fibre, I think. For some reason, I watch these DIY shows. Do you? Yeah. Don't do any DIY, I just like watching them. <laughs> so I'm fairly sure that it's density. I'm going to go for density. Would you like me to accept density as your answer? Yes, please, Dale. Alary says density. Did she give me the right answer? these programs to a man with a tool belt standing there with a hammer couldn't tell you what mdf was it's one of those useless bits of information that you pick up along the way you see not useless it's got your five grand extra in the prize fund unbelievable oh dear I'm not smiling over there <laughs> 45 grand let's make it 50 this will be your 10th straight correct answer if you get it right here's your question what type of creature is a john dory is it fish Cow or ape? Right. I don't think it's a cow. I don't think it's an ape. I think it's a fish. I, I don't know why. I, I think I've seen it on a menu somewhere, perhaps. A fish. Would you like me to take fish as your answer? Yes, please, Dan. Okay. Alary says fish. I'll accept that as your answer, if it is right. £50,000 in the prize fund. On your own. Is the answer fish? Um, I think you might be approaching the record here. This is extraordinary. And you're not giving other players a single look in. <laughs> Here's your next question. June Carter was the second wife of which singer? Was it Elvis Presley, Johnny Cash, or Buddy Holly? Right. Elvis Presley, I think, was only married once. Buddy Holly died in a plane crash when he was quite young. Um, and I think that Johnny Cash... Um, didn't Reese Witherspoon win a, an Oscar recently for portraying her? I think it's Johnny Cash. Is that the answer you'd like me to take? Yes, please, down. Alary says Johnny Cash. Was she married to Johnny Cash?
Have you ever been on a quiz show before? Yeah. Oh, what were you on? Uh, I was on Blockbusters many, many moons ago. <laughs> and how old were you when you did that? 18. Oh, my goodness. Did you win? Uh, yes, ish. Didn't get either of my gold rings. Oh, dear. This is but I did ask for a pee, please, Bob. Oh, did you? Uh, this is payback time, then, for not winning on that, then, isn't it, really? Here we go. 55 grand in the prize fund, 11 straight correct answers. This is the dozen, this is the 12, this is unbelievable. Get this one right and that's what it'll be. Here's your 12th question. Which country won the 2006 Six Nations Rugby Union Tournament? Was it Italy, England or France? Right, well, rugby is a big favourite of mine. Unfortunately, Wales didn't. Uh, Wales won the 2005 Six Nations. Uh, Italy didn't win the Six, 2006. England, I don't think, performed well enough. Uh, they were beaten by a couple of teams, so I think it's France. Would you like me to take France as your answer? Yes, please, Dale. Uh, Larry says France. I'll accept that as the answer. If you're right, we'll have £60,000 in the prize fund. Is the answer France? You're fabulous. Um, Tony. Yeah? Just tell me, what is going through your mind right now? How do I get there? <laughs> Well, you're still smiling, which is the main thing. This is unusual, Michael. I don't remember ever having 12 straight correct answers, one after the other like that. Not very intelligent, girl. Are you all right over there? No. <laughs> Helen. Yes. How you doing? I still want to be over there. And how would you have coped with the question so far? Um, pretty yeah. well so far. That doesn't help me if I get over there, though, does it? No, it doesn't, to be fair. Uh, Sean. Yes. What's going through your mind right now? If I end up there at the end, I'll love that girl. <laughs> if not, she's on the hit list. <laughs> this game can change at any moment. You know the deal. You've got to get over here and stay here, which Elary is doing right now. This will be your 13th question. No pressure. <laughs> Sorry. Here's your question. What was the profession of Tony Blair before he became an MP? Was he a barrister? A doctor or a banker? I don't know the answer to this one, Dale, but I'm guessing that seeing as his wife is of the legal profession, that he was probably involved on that side of things. So I'm going to go for barrister. I don't think he was a doctor, because he's not Dr. Blair, is he? Um, I don't think he was a banker. I'm, I'm going to have to go for barrister. I'm not sure on this one, but I. I I'll take a, take a guess. So, am I to accept barrister as your answer? Yes, please, Dan. Okay. Larry says barrister. I will take that. If it's right, we'll have £65,000 in the prize fund. It's extraordinary. And all your own good work. Was Tony Blair a barrister? <laughs> I'll tell you what. Beauty and brains. You've got the whole package, haven't you? You can't cook, but never mind. That's sorted hey, now, mind. apparently. <laughs> That's sorted, isn't it, if you get through and stay here till the end? Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> um, this would be £70,000 in the prize fund. It's a lot of money. It's another five grand. Let's have a look at your next question. Oh, no, Mrs. And titty ye nots were catchphrases of which British comedian? Dick Emery? Kenneth Williams? Or Frankie Howard? Um, I don't think it was Kenneth Williams. Uh, I'm not sure why, but I, I just can't see him saying those things. Frankie Howard. Titty, titty, not. I think it's Frankie Howard. I'm not sure, but I, I, for some reason I can just see his face. He had quite a long... Mm, face. Had a what? Ooh, face. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. An ooh face. Ooh face. Have I got an ooh face? No, no, no. Oh, thank no. goodness for that. <laughs> yeah, so he did, yes, Frankie Howard, I think it was. Um, let's go for Frankie Howard. Am I to take that as your answer? Yes, please, Dale. Alary says Frankie Howard. If you're right, there'll be £70,000 in the prize fund. Is it Frankie Howard? Yes. 
If you manage to get home with that, you're sorted, aren't you? With a holiday, the new kitchen, he's going to get a convertible. Absolutely. It's interesting that he was last on the list. Well, I cook for him. I would use the kitchen to cook for him. So, and then he can take me out for a drive afterwards. Okay, cool. That's when he's done the washing out. <laughs> oh, he's going like this. He knows where his bread's buttered, doesn't he? <laughs> Here's your next question. This would make it £75,000 if you get it right. <clears throat> the words pyjamas and juggernaut are derived from which language? Is it Greek, Latin or Hindi? Pyjamas and juggernaut. Pyjamas, juggernaut. Um, oh dear. This one's a bit of a toughie. Um, Greek. Um, I don't know. I uh, Hindi pajamas, pajamas. I don't know. I'm trying to think what they sound good. <laughs> what do I know? Um, I don't think it's Latin. Greek. Did they have a J in Greek? J. Hindi. I, for some reason, Hindi is is attracting my attention. I don't know why. Um, Hindi. I'm, I, I'll go for Hindi. Are you saying you'd like me to accept Hindi as your answer? Yes, please, sir. Aleri says Hindi. If that is right, we'll have £75,000 in the prize fund, mm -hmm. and you alone have put it there. If you're wrong, it'll be a trip to the red area. You've managed to avoid that so far, so quickly, so well. I'm looking for Hindi. How do you think of that? Uh, I'm, a, I'm a linguist. I speak French and Welsh, so oh, it's sort of something that fell out, really. Is it, is it trilingual? Bilingual? Trilingual. Trilingual? Okay, yeah. I'm bilingual. Here's, uh, <laughs> here's, uh, here's your next question. In which athletics event did Mary Peters win an Olympic gold medal in 1972? Was it pentathlon, triple jump, pole vault? Right. Mary Peters. I was before I was born, um, so I can't actually remember seeing it, but I've seen her on television. I don't think she looked much like a pole vaulter. Um, I don't think it was a pole vault, and I don't think women do the triple jump, so I'm going to have to go with pentathlon. Is that your answer? Yes, yeah, still. Okay. Larry says pentathlon. If you are right, That'll be £80,000 in the prize fund. 16 correct answers. Unbelievable. I'm looking for pentathlon. <laughs> you know, 80 grand. Got this one right. We'll have £85,000 in the prize fund. Fabulous. Here's your question. In Madrid, what is the Prado? Is it football stadium? Bull ring, art gallery. Right, I've never been to uh, Madrid, so I don't know the answer to this one. I don't think it's a football stadium. Um, I'm going to go for art gallery. It sounds quite arty to me. I don't know whether or not there's any significance in that whatsoever, but pure guess, I'm going to go for art gallery. Would you like me to take art gallery as your answer? Yes, please, Dale. Alary says art gallery. If you are right, we'll have £85,000 in the prize fund. I'm stuck. How are you? Are you amazed? I'm amazed. Uh. Okay. I'm looking for art gallery. We might be breaking another record very soon. Keep this rate up. You might be topping the best total ever on the show. At the moment, there's £85,000 in the prize fund. For another 5000 it will make it ninety. Here is your question. Gethin Jones became a presenter of which long-running TV show in 2005? Blue Peter, Top Gear, or Newsnight? Right, I know it's not Top Gear. Um, and I don't think it's Newsnight. I, 
I'm sure I read something in the paper, he's a Welsh boy, Gethin Jones, um, and I'm sure that I read in the paper that he's joined Blue Peter. <sighs> Don't think it's news, right? It's definitely not Top Gear. <sighs> Blue Peter. Would you like me to accept Blue Peter as your answer? Yes, please, Dale. Okay. I'll take Blue Peter. I'll give you a Blue Peter badge if it's right. I tell you, it's <laughs> unbelievable. I'm looking for Blue Peter. Um, Helen, is that smile genuine? I'm chuffed that the prize money's going up, I have to say. I think it's extraordinary the way it's going. I mean, I just... Unbelievable. Can I just have a bit of fun with you now for a moment? Let's, let's find it. <laughs> Helen... You're looking at 90 grand. I know. What would you do with 90 grand? I'd take all my family back to Antigua where I got married. Okay. Um, there was 12 of us out there and uh, I would take us back. Relax. Are you, are you okay, Michael? How are you doing? Hey, thanks, Neil. Yeah, you're, you're all such sweethearts and so patient. And there's Tony on the end there. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. You can go off some people, though, can't you? Well, <laughs> you go for an offer, have you? <laughs> yeah. 90 grand in the prize fund. Here's your next question. It's worth another £5,000. Which would make it 95 grand? Here we go. The Gurkha Regiment of the British Army is made up of recruits from which country? Is it Japan, Nepal or Sri Lanka? Right. I think I know this one. Uh. <laughs> I think I know it. <laughs> it's, not, it's not one of those dodgy bullet ones, you know? Can I ask you something? Yeah. He's your partner. You're not married, right? No. Marry me. <laughs> <You're> just... <laughs> I've been married before, but this time I think it might work. <laughs> right. Don't think it's Japan. Um, I'm, I'm fairly sure that it's Nepal. Um, you see them running the marathon and, and stuff like that. I, I'm, I, something's telling me Nepal, so I'm going to go for Nepal. I hope it's right. <laughs> Are you saying you'd like me to accept Nepal as your answer? Uh, yes, please, Dale. Okay, very confident. Alary says Nepal. I'll accept that. If that is right, there'll be £95,000 in the prize fund. Is it Nepal? Yes! Do you know what? You deserve to be here in Israel. This is amazing. I can categorically say this has never happened before. 95 grand, straight out of the waiting area, on your own. You've put all the cash in. Unbelievable. And you, you're a star. You're a star. You're a star. This is where we break another record. If you get the next question right, we go into six figures. That means it's £100,000. Here's your next question. In the United Kingdom, Remembrance Sunday always occurs in which month? Is it January, August or November? It's November, Dale. It's the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, so it's November. Would you like me to take November as your answer? Yes, please. You're very calm. I'm more nervous <laughs> than not, you are. Not I mean, you're sitting there, it's November. <laughs> I know it's November. You know it's, a, yeah. it's 100 grand here, love. Yeah. Oh, dear. You might have to comfort me in a minute. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I accept November. If it is November, for the first time ever on In It To Win It, the prize fund has gone six figures, we'll have a hundred grand in the prize fund. I so hope you are right. I'm looking for November. own in winner's row looking at the frozen it's frozen at 100 grand it ain't going anywhere it's all for you to play for there's no share it's all yours on the turn oh, of one dear. question you are just one question away from taking home 100,000 pounds <sighs> what is going through your mind Oh my word, I just hope that I know this, the answer to this one, because I've done all the hard work, but this okay. is the, the main one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. and look, they're applauding you. Well, 
I uh, can't stand up. Can't, can't take the skin off. Paddle. <laughs> she just said. I don't know if you heard it, she said, oh, sorry, guys. And she's a well star. Done. She's done all the other well She has done. done. You know, you are sweetheart. So I hate to say that I've never had this before, but Sean, Helen, Michael, Tony, what can I say? Thank you for being patient, generous, and sweethearts. But I have to say goodnight. I'm sorry. Thank you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> You can take it easy now. Uh -huh. yeah. Relax. As I say, you are one question away from that money. I will come back with that question in just a moment. Well done. <laughs> Aleri is sensational. And what is probably going to be the longest couple of minutes of her life. It's time for the first of tonight's three draws. I hope you're a winner too, and this will be your best night ever. Come on, let's do the Thunderball draw. Wow, what a night! Saturday the 29th of July, 21 minutes past eight. It is time for the first of those three live draws on In It To Win It. It's the Thunderball with Dale Winton and James McCourt. Dale! Thank you, Alan. So, will Ellery go home tonight with 100 grand? Well, she'll soon find out. Now, here's the thing. Are you just a few lucky numbers away from a fortune yourself in tonight's Thunderball? How much dosh are we looking at? I have no idea, but I know a man who does. He knows everything. <laughs> of course, it's James. <laughs> Good evening, Dell. I'm not sure I know everything, but I do know about Thunderballs. OK, the number 12 has been making frequent appearances recently. In fact, it's been drawn four times in July, making it the most selected number on Thunderball. But will we see it again tonight? Well, let's find out. Come on, jiggle those Thunderballs. <laughs> Here we go, then. And there are 34 balls in this first machine. In a moment, we're going to pick five of them. Match with just one, and you are in with a chance of winning a prize this Saturday night. It is as simple as that. Good luck to you from all of us here in the In It To Win It studio. Dale. Thank you, Alan. I hope your luck's in tonight. I wish you all all the best. Good luck. Eyes down, look in. First one out tonight. Looks a bit like that, number four. And here is the next one. And that is number nine. Next we have 29. And the fourth one to be drawn is number one. And then to complete the set, number two. Okay, Drawmaster Paul Van den Bosch, please start up the second machine and release the 14 red thunderbolts, if you would. Remember, if you've matched with at least one number, keep watching. You could well be in the money tonight. Our independent adjudicator, by the way, is Alan Chilver tonight. James. Thanks, Al. Well, no number 12, but Wednesday's Thunderball proved very rewarding for four ticket holders who managed to pocket a handy £5,000 each. And let's hope that tonight's draw throws some prizes your way too. All the best. Here's looking at you. Good luck. Good luck from me too. Here we go. It's got to be one of these. Which is it to be? It's number four. So let's take a look, shall we, at tonight's Thunderball numbers again. Only this time, here they are in ascending order. Number one. Number two. Number four. Number nine. And number 29. Thunderball tonight is number four. Dale. forget still to come the dream number and lotto draws now a few moments ago Aleri put 100,000 pounds in the prize fund and she's just one question away from all that cash I don't know who's more nervous you or I because you've been so calm the whole wow. evening and this is a first for me I'm looking at a prize fund of a hundred thousand pounds you alone did all the work. You put all the money in. This is the most important question of the night. Yes. This is all or nothing. Yeah. We are now into six figures. And it's all for you to play for. You know that? Yeah. <laughs> I beg of you, take your time. Mm, yeah. If you're ready. Yes, still. For 100,000 pounds, let me see the question. Tonya Harding and Nancy Kerrigan have both represented the USA in which sport? Would it be figure skating, gymnastics, or athletics? 
Is this a good question? Uh, sports, no, not a good question. Um, but I don't think it's athletics. I've got a feeling, and I've had these feelings all night, Dale, and so far they've done me well. I think it's figure skating. Now, I, I can recall there was some nastiness between a lady called Tonya Harding. There was fights and all sorts of nastiness. And for some reason, my heart is telling me that the answer to this question is figure skating. I really don't think it's gymnastics. I, to be honest, of all of those sports, athletics and figure skating are the only ones that I would watch. The name Tonya Harding is sticking out for me and I think it's figure skating and I'm, I think that's going to be my answer. Figure skating, Dale. You could hear a pin drop in the studio tonight. Would you like me to take figure skating as your answer? Yes, Dale. Then I shall. If the answer is figure skating, you have just won £100,000. If it is not, you're going home with nothing. You all right, sweetheart? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Should we do it? Yeah. For 100 grand, Tonya and Nancy, were they figure skaters? You were sensational. You've just won a hundred grand. Oh my I, word. I need to go and sort out the rest of the country who want to win some money as well. So would you take a seat well, yeah. and I'll return with your check? Yeah, thank you. You have been fabulous, darling. Give me a kiss. Mm, thank you. Hello, Fabulous. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't get any better than that, does it? It has been an unbelievable night on In It to Win It. Larry has just won the jackpot, £100,000. And believe it or not, now it's your turn. You are also just moments away from a fortune yourself. So grab your tickets and let's do the Saturday night dream number and lotto draws. 28 minutes past eight now on BBC One. First of those draws now, tonight's National Lottery Dream Number Draw with Mr. Dale Winton. Dale. Thank you, Alan. Well, what a blast. One question, 100 grand, and it's only show two of this series. Oh, well done, Alary. Now, hopefully, this will be the night you'll be celebrating in a few moments on Dream Number. Now, if you bought a lucky ticket, you'll be wanting to know how it all works. The Oracle, that is James, shall explain all. Thank you, Dale. I hope I don't disappoint. Right then, on Wednesday, over 91,000 people won a prize on Dream number and to be one of tonight's lucky winners all you have to do is match the numbers in the order they're drawn from left to right the more numbers you match in sequence the more money you win and don't forget that by taking part in this draw you're helping to raise funds for the london 2012 olympic and paralympic games i wish you all lots of luck okay come on let's release the dream number ball and tonight we're using tourmaline instead of balls number one don't forget with this game we're talking the best odds yet of winning a prize match with the first digit you win two pounds two digits ten pounds three digits a hundred pounds, four digits, 500 pounds, five digits, 5,000 pounds, six digits, 50,000 pounds, and if you match with all seven digits, you'll win half a million. The numbers have to be in the order they're drawn, with no breaks in the chain, Dale. Thanks. Lucky seven. Will it be yours tonight? Good luck. Here we go then, creating this weekend's National Lottery dream number. The first digit is a two. The balls are made of celluloid, they're hollow, they weigh around 2.3 grams apiece. Six. Seven high-speed fans are helping to mix these little beauties tonight. There's the next one, too. Remember, you must match with the numbers in the order they are drawn. Seven. And you must start with that very first number. It's in the rules. Two. The more numbers you match with in order from left to right, the more you win. That is a six. There are over 90,000 winning tickets after Wednesday's draw. Good luck tonight. And that is a seven. So let's take a look at tonight's National Lottery dream number. Two. Six, two, seven, two, six, seven.
Yes. Thanks, Alan. OK, here's your last chance to win big tonight. Of course, it's the Lotto Draw. I know you've already worked out what you're going to do with the money when you win it. Just how many millions is it tonight, James? Thank you, Dale. Well, there were some big smiles for someone on Wednesday as the double rollover made one lucky ticket holder £11.5 million richer. Private jets, fast cars and a top-of-the-range karaoke machine. That's how I'd spend the money. <laughs> for a listener with an estimated jackpot of £4.8 million, let's hope it's your turn to win big tonight. Fingers crossed. <laughs> karaoke machine. <laughs> I'll probably do the same. <laughs> OK, I can definitely think of other ways to spend that cash. Come on, let's release those balls. Ear defenders for me. There they go, tonight's big money ball. Set of balls number seven, in fact, inside the draw machine Amethyst. And I can tell you now, they were chosen for us earlier today by Tom Fox, who's from East Finchley. OK, Dale, let's do it. Thanks, Alan. Good luck, everyone. Here we go, then. First one's about to appear. Which one is it going to be? That's what we need to know. And it's number five. Age-concerned Barnsley received a grant of £205,000 to make sure older people are included in communities there. Next out is number 21. Saw that Wednesday before last, too. That 121st time now as a main ball. Next tonight. Out she comes. And that's number 19. It's on the Saturday night. That was the fifth number drawn. 143rd time as a lotto main ball. Here's the fourth one. 49, the top banana with us a couple of Wednesdays on the trot last month, 132nd time as a lotto main ball. And here is the fifth one. That's number four. Bernardo's received £204,000 to help support young people with mental health issues in Cardiff. And the sixth one is number 16. Last with us just a half dozen Wednesdays back. That's the 16th time as a main ball for that one. The bonus, if you need it, we have one for you. And it is number 20. So this weekend's winning lotto numbers in ascending order are number four. Number 5, number 60, number 90, number 21, and we go with that, number 49. The bonus, number 20. And you can find out who won what later tonight on BBC One when we bring you a lottery update, or of course, you can check the BBC website, and if you're a digital viewer, just press that red button. Now it's back to Dale, and that check. You may remember a few moments ago, Aleri broke the bank, and I have here a cheque for her for £100,000. Aleri, I would normally come to you, but you know what? Tonight, this stage is your stage. Darling, come and join me. Come and join me. Wonderful. Come and join me. Sweetheart. You, uh, you achieved the impossible. It says here, please pay Aleri Owen £100,000. Thank you. Well done, darling. Thank you. So it's the Tuscan holiday for, for learning how to cook and the kitchen and the... I bet you haven't even thought what you're going to spend the money no, on. No, not at all. A new house, I think. A bigger house. And we'll learn to cook from a book or something. You, you're going to record books tonight. You know that, don't you? You're going to record books on this show tonight. Fabulous. Well, it's been a fabulous night. Why don't you come back next Saturday for another In It To Win It and hopefully another hundred grand for someone to win. So I'll see you next Saturday. Until then, have a great night. Good night. Good night. Thank you.